everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite blushes for the summertime. And in one of the videos that I uploaded recently, it may have been my last video, I was showing you my favorite foundations for the summer. So I wanted to do just kind of like a little series where I'm showing you different categories of each product of ones that I like best for the summer. I feel like that was worded terribly, but you know what I'm saying. So today is gonna to be blushes and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna kick off the video with a drugstore blush. It's actually the only true drugstore blush that's in this whole video. So this one is the Milani Luminoso blush, and this is really, really popular on YouTube. It's a baked blush. Um, it's got a very nice peachy tint, and it's kind of like marbleized where it has like a luminous glow to it. This honestly really reminds me of one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting blushes in the color Dim Infusion. This is kind of like a drugstore dupe for that, but it's just a really pretty glowy peach color. I love peaches for summer and Milani Luminoso is no exception. The next blush that I'm gonna share with you is from The Balm and they actually do sell The Balm at one drugstore here in Houston, so maybe this is a drugstore blush. It is pretty affordable. This is their Frat Boy blush and I've got a couple from them, but this is probably my favorite one. This again is a very just kind of like peachy pink. This definitely has more pink to it than Milani's Luminoso and this doesn't really have a lot of shimmer. It might be completely matte. I would say it's probably more of a satin type of finish, but it's just a really pretty natural looking peachy pink and it's really easy to go to. It's nice for like work or school because it doesn't have really any shimmer or glitter in it, so it's pretty natural looking. Plus how adorable is the balm's packaging for this? It's like a little, it just, I don't know, it's so cute. The next blush that I'm gonna talk about also has really cute packaging and it's one of Benefit's box blushes. This is the one in Dallas and I, Benefit actually does, does the describing job for me instead of me having to say, this is like a peachy pink. They say that it is for a natural fresh glow, lightly sweep this dusty sunset plum powder across cheekbones and chin or anywhere you want looks to linger. You can kind of use this as a blush and bronzer in one. If you're feeling kind of lazy and you just want to use one product on your cheeks, this is a good one because it is kind of dark enough to give you almost like a bronzed up look, but it then it has that plummy tint to kind of bring some colors to your cheeks as well. So this one does have a very subtle shimmer to it, but when you put it on your cheeks, you don't really get a shimmer, you just get a very natural looking sheen. So this looks really nice with tan skin. I'm not sure how it looks with super pale skin. I like to use this mostly in the summertime, so that is um, Benefits Dallas. Next, I've got a couple of peachy toned blushes and I've got two, one is a lot lighter than the other and the lighter one is this one. It is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in the color 08 Melon Pop and this is actually the newest Cheek Pop that I've added to my collection. All of the Clinique Cheek Pops are really good. I also like the Peach Pop color and the Ginger Pop but this is the Melon Pop one and it's slightly lighter. It's like a light cantaloupe color and this just adds a really beautiful sheen to your cheeks. There's no shimmer or glitter in it whatsoever. It's very natural, it builds up nicely, and it just gives you this nice kind of natural flushed look, which is so pretty. I heard about this on Essie Button's channel, and if you are obsessed with Essie Button like me, I was just like, I need to go out and get that, and I have no regrets because it's so pretty. So I would recommend any of the Clinique Cheek Pop blushes, but um, this Melon Pop one is really, really nice. If you have a darker skin tone, I might go for a darker one like the Peach Pop or the Ginger Pop, but this Melon Pop is just so pretty and natural and easy to wear. Okay, so it could not be a summer blush video without mentioning one of the Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes because those just have such an amazing formula and they do last really, really well. They've got some beautiful colors. So one of my favorites for summer is Tipsy. And as you can see by the packaging, which the packaging on these blushes matches kind of like the color of the blush that's inside. So Tipsy is really kind of like a bright, 
coral orangey blush and I love it. I do have to use it quite sparingly. You don't want to go in with a ton of this stuff because it's pigmented and it's bright um, but with the right just kind of sheared out light wash of this color it just gives you such a natural glow to your cheeks and it doesn't have any glitter or shimmer to it either. I do think that it is a matte blush. Um, I don't know. I guess again you could say it's like a satin but it lasts for such a long time it says on the packaging it lasts 12 hours I would say it definitely will last at least eight so if you're gonna wear it to work or something like that it would be great um, I love a lot of the colors out of this Tarte collection but tipsy is one of my absolute favorites for summer next up I've got two NARS blushes to talk about and I really wanted to pick one but they're just they're both really different and I love them both for different reasons so I'll show you this one first this one is luster and it is kind of like an orangey dusty coral color with like gold shimmer gold flecks in it the shimmer doesn't come out like chunky glitter on your cheeks it really comes out like a beautiful natural sheen but this is a really really pretty color to wear with like gold eyes um and just like nude lips and I don't know I just I love this for the summer it's so pretty and I don't know if like the camera is going to justify how beautiful this blush really is but this is is really one of my favorites out of this whole video um and this is again NARS blush in the shade luster the other NARS blush that I wanted to show and I'll show you these side by side so you can see how different they really are this one is like really really pink and this one's more of a dusty coral orange kind of color but this pink one is in the shade deep throat and I know everyone loves NARS orgasm and I also know that their names are just kind of like a little bit crazy but just bear with me it's like a dusty rosy pink with a gold fleck shimmer to it so again just really pretty the formula of these blushes is so easy to blend out um, I feel like I can put quite a lot of this on like quite a few layers without it looking too overdone but it again just gives your cheeks a beautiful sheen a beautiful glow so definitely not matte but I love that kind of shimmery glowy look for summer so this one is also no exception and then I'm kind of saving the best for last because the last product I'm going to show you is actually a blush palette and it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette and it's got three of their ambient lighting blushes in here which I love the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I have almost every single one of them. I actually do have every single one of them but this one I don't have on its own. I just have it in the palette and they did release it on its own. Um, this, These two are my more favorite ones for summer. I prefer this one for fall and winter because it's more of a plummy shade. But basically these are, this one is Mood Exposure, this one is Incandescent Light, and this one is Luminous Flush. Luminous Flush is like a really pretty pink color. Incandescent Electra is what this one's called. And it is kind of like a bright coral with the incandescent light powder vein through it. These all have like an ambient lighting powder veined through them, which is kind of like a highlighting powder. So they all do give your cheeks a natural glow. It's not gonna make your cheeks look glittery and crazy. It's so beautiful and natural. I really can't tell you enough how much I absolutely love these blushes. And I think the fact that they sell them now in a palette is just amazing because you can get a lot more for your money and these two are beautiful for summer again this one is luminous flush and this one's incandescent electra and this one like i said mood exposure i really prefer it for fall and winter just because it's more of a purpley plum but all three of the blushes are gorgeous for any time of year and the formula on these is my favorite blush formula of ever out of any of the blushes i talked about today this is my favorite blush formula these are my favorite blushes hands down if i said you know if you're gonna go to sephora and spend money on a blush go check these out for sure because they are amazing and don't just swatch them you've got to try them on your face because just swatching them does not do them justice i promise this is like a holy grail blush palette those are all of my favorites those, those are my favorite summer blushes i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you maybe found a new blush that you want to check out that would be fun for the summer let me know what your favorite summer blushes are in the comments below so i can check those out go follow me on instagram if you don't already it's at daniella june i've also been snapchatting a ton lately 
completely. My Snapchat is Daniela.June. I'll link them both down below so you can check those out if you want to. And that's going to be it. Just leave me video suggestions in the comments so I know what videos you guys want to see next. I'm probably going to continue this summer favorite series um, and I'll do like lip products and maybe eyeshadows and things along those lines. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.